everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. Today we're gonna to be following an old railroad right away high up into the Rocky Mountains to the Alpine Tunnel. So we have a disclaimer on this video and that is that we actually did this trail about 10 years ago and so I'll let Bob tell you about him finding the lost footage. Most of the video is from my GoPro One. I had bought a GoPro when they first came out 11 years ago and we used it on our Colorado trip and I had mounted it on the top of the truck while we were doing some four-wheel drive trails and found uh, where we had driven the old railroad right away to the Alpine Tunnel and you can't do it anymore, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, as you'll be able to see uh, on this trail here, that uh, just how amazing this trail is. This railroad line uh, that we drove up here, the right of way, was the Denver, South Park, and Pacific Railroad line. Uh, they were competing with the uh, Denver Rio Grande on getting a route to Gunnison. The Alpine Tunnel was once the highest railroad tunnel in the United States and I believe also in the world, highest in elevation. Mm -hmm. Right, and it was the first railroad line to, this is the first railroad tunnel actually, uh, to go through the Continental Divide. So even though it's no longer active, it remains the highest railroad tunnel in North America still. And we could feel the elevation as we were hiking up there. It was about 11,500 feet. Mm -hmm. And we hiked about a mile or so mm -hmm. uh, up there. And you could feel it. Right. So this here, this is what's left of the midway tank. Uh, just the, they've restored part of the lumber that held the tank, but the tank is uh, no longer there. The midway tank got its name because it was halfway between Pitkin and the Alpine Tunnel. We're coming up onto the uh, Tunnel Gulch water tank, and the uh, this has been restored by the Mile High Jeep Club. Right here, I'm getting out to look where the river's crossing. It's deeper than it looks on the video. It's about a foot down, just making sure it's safe to go through.
this here is the Sherrod Loop. This is where the, the trains would go in. And they had a hotel here, hardware store, uh, saloon. So it's all pretty much gone now. And there's a lot of the town site that's on private property, so you can't get to it anymore. But there are areas up, right up there where you can walk around and look that's not on private property, where the loop is, and stuff like that. Yeah. So this road here is 10 miles to get to the Alpine Tunnel. And it's uh, 10 miles of shelf road driving, mm -hmm. about nine miles of it. You've got a couple thousand feet drop off right. on either side. Right. What did you, you think about that? <laughs> that was a, a, I don't, I'm not a big fan of shelf roads and that, that was plenty of it. Yeah, it was, it was either very scenic or it's a terrifying drive. Yeah, it, it was beautiful. Yeah. But. Get the view because I'm not looking out there. <laughs> you can see in the video here that it's just one single lane and it it's barely feels like when you're on it, barely feels like it's big enough for you to even uh, make it through. We were in the Ford truck and uh, so I'm sure if you were in a smaller ATV or something it would probably, you know, feel a little bit different but it felt like our truck was from one side to the other. Right. When I would look out the window, uh, I was just seeing air. There, mm -hmm. there were, couldn't see any ground. This view here from the GoPro, though, you can see the edge of the road, so it doesn't look quite as bad. Yeah. But in real life, it was a lot it different. Was just almost <laughs> straight, almost a straight drop down. So it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> So they said that the uh, Palisades were up at over 11,000 feet here now, and the Palisades are called an engineering marvel because of the way that it was built. They didn't use any mortar for the stacked stone. Um, it was just stacking it straight on the mountainside. And as we're driving over this, we're just driving over stacked stone with no mortar or anything. Right. And they said that it's, at this point, when we went by there, it had lasted 95 years. And this is unfortunately uh, what was taken out in the rock slide that um, they haven't been able to replace. I heard, though, that there are people working on trying to get funding so that they can uh, fix the road and make it a through road again. Yeah, and when you're driving through there, or when we were driving through, my adrenaline was pumping, not knowing, <laughs> you know, that that quarter mile there, you're you're just on some stacked stone. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 
the last part of the trip, maybe the last two miles, would you say? They said it was like supposed to be the most fantastic part of the trip, but right, yeah. right. Yeah. I guess fantastic would be one word. Yeah, it's uh, the last couple miles are uh, amazing going going through that when you're on the side of a cliff. There, yeah. you have a cliff on one side, and then you just have open air on the other side. Right. Are we coming to the end of this stretch then? Yes, yes we are. We Mile marker H. H. I don't know what mile post H is, but... Okay, I'll look. Looks like you can... There's more room up here to stop. So when we got to the where the uh, parking area is, there's a, a restroom there and uh, parking, so you can actually turn around and head back out. Um, from there, you're on foot. You walk the rest of the way in and see what all that they have there. Um, what, what would you call it? It's not a town. It's a railroad station. Railroad station. You know, with all the supporting buildings. Yeah. They had a, Turntable there. Um, the telegraph office? Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of different offices. Some of them had burnt down, some were rebuilt, mm -hmm. uh, some were in stone. I have those insulators. Just amazing. Yeah, it was it was really awesome to see all that. But you are at you know eleven thousand five hundred feet and yeah. you do quite a bit of hiking up there. So. Yeah, I mean we were out of breath the whole time we were up there. Um, right. You know, I could really hear it uh, when we were on recording. You don't realize it so much, but yeah. Right, and that GoPro One, you know, it was before you had uh, wind socks. Yeah, and, or right. even stabilization. We did notice right. that some of it was a bit shaky. But, right, uh, and uh, before selfie stick yeah, stick that's and true. everything else. Yeah. Was, uh, I was just holding that GoPro in my hand. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah, but, Primitive. <laughs> yeah, but still awesome. Awesome video. We really wanted to share that with you guys. Yeah, especially since you can't do it. You can't drive through that anymore. Right, that's true.
Somebody's restored this. It's so nice. Show this picture right here. This is a, the Palisades that we just drove over. Oh, I'd like to have that picture too. Beautiful. So the, there is a lot of people that have done a lot of work on this road and at the tunnel to restore things. So it's pretty great. And they've done an excellent job. At, at restoring everything you know from the station house you'll see us going in and the water tank everything just amazing yeah Well, I think this is the Y and turntable, and we're heading up to the tunnel. What's that? I don't smell anything. wooden turntable. People have been working on restoring this also. be too much farther maybe half a mile to the tunnel we should be coming up to the east end of the Alpine tunnel So at this point, we're going to be on our way back out and back to camp now. So thanks for joining us. We'll catch up with you guys later. All right. Bye. bye.